My nephew Joshua was 13 when he was killed in 2001. He was living with me at the time. He asked me, can I go by Billy's house? I thought, well, you know, what's the harm in that, you know? My mistake was I assumed that there was a parent home. I assumed his father had his weapon properly secured. The kid had removed the magazine, so the kid was sure that the gun was safe. And he, what he didn't know was there was a bullet chamber. Joshua had this fear of weapons because he lost his mother to gun violence. I think this kid really pulled the trigger to show Joshua that, that it was not dangerous. The hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life is to tell my mom we have to bury her grandson. The pain was so great, we just wanted to do something positive. And we also wanted to try to prevent families from experiencing the same pain that this put my family through. We began working with the End Family Fire campaign. Family Fire is the accidental shooting of a family member with a weapon that was improperly secured, improperly stored. It's a difficult conversation for people. You don't want to ask or say anything to your neighbors because you don't want to offend them. But there are important things we should know. Where are they going when they play? <laughs> what is the environment of that home? We have to understand that children are inquisitive. They're curious. And there's not one corner of the house that they haven't gone through. If you're a gun owner, you have to make sure your weapon is inaccessible. It will save the family from the pain and the trauma that my family's put through. Because once that happens, it's forever. And if I could prevent one family from experiencing that, then his life will have some purpose. <laughs>